Hello everybody and welcome on in to yet another live stream. It is great to be back for I think the first time in two weeks and the aim of today is to finish building the Lego Star Wars UCS X-Wing. I'm out of breath because I had to literally run outside, tell my sister who was about to turn a speaker on, just not to, literally in the last like 10 seconds. Phew, literally, I would not have been in this seat if I had not skidded across the floor. So, now I'm all calm and collected again. Welcome everybody. Welcome Brick Street Boy, Venator Bricks, Lego 501st, Jedi Bob Studios, Brick Stack, and everybody else that we've got watching. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm gonna, oh, I'm actually so out of breath. It was like, it was like parkour, I'm telling you. I literally came out there, slid underneath the table, went in there, just told my sister, no, 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 and I came, slid underneath here, popped my head out the table, literally just in time. Oh, I've got my cup of tea, so I should be fine. Look, I've got my Star Wars Celebration mug, which was over a year ago now, which is crazy. But uh, anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome HP, welcome MI Troll TV, welcome Green Bricks, TLB on Ninja Warrior when? Well, yeah, maybe, maybe after that. I just hope my sister's not going to start making noise. So anyway, welcome. The aim of today is to finish building the Lego Star Wars UCS X-Wing Starfighter. I've made it super easy for me. I only have one bag to do and it's the back engines. So the hope is I'll actually be finished with this pretty quickly. And then what I'll do is I'll get you guys to vote on which is the next set I'm going to be building. Hopefully we can get the view count up. Let's get that like count going. If you would like to support the channel by putting in a donation, please, don't know why I said it like that, a donation, please do use the link in the description because that will come directly to me and I'll be able to put it directly towards my next video. So if you would like to support the channel, any donations are really appreciated and they will go up to that goal there. TLB finishing a set on stream. I know, it will be a first. Well, no. I have actually finished two sets on stream, but it's always it's always fun when I finish like a big UCS model. Now, one other thing I want to warn you about is that this, this set is pretty fragile. And this is one of my main criticisms of it. Like, when I finished it, I'll give you a full review of what I think about the LEGO Star Wars UCS X-Wing. But one of my main talking points is going to be that it is quite fragile. So if there comes a moment in the live stream where I touch the wrong thing and it falls apart... Got to be patient with me, I'll put it back together, but hopefully that's not going to happen. Here we go. Uh, I finished two sets on stream, what an achievement. Yeah, it is an achievement, it is an achievement. So, uh, about 15 likes, we've got 16 viewers, so we can definitely get that like count up. I've also got some Star Wars trivia. Look at that, the ultimate Star Wars quiz. Oh, I shouldn't show you that because I've got the answers in, hasn't it? Pretend you didn't see that. I've got some Star Wars trivia, which we're going to be doing, so a jam-packed live stream. Welcome, Blocksbricks. Good to see you. I'm doing very well, aiming to finish this X-Wing, this bad boy right here. And actually, I know you've got this set as well, so I'll be interested to hear your thoughts on it too. Hey, Britain Bricks, good to see you. HP, lovely to see you here as always. Hello from Germany. Hello from the UK. Hey, Brit Memories, good to see you. If I finish the build, yeah, if I finish the build, I'm hoping I'll finish the build. If you finish the build, I will. I will. Come on. I've got a two-hour live stream and I've got to do literally all the pieces that are on... That was close. All the pieces that are on this tray right here. So, I think I'll be able to do that. Fingers crossed, anyway. Fingers crossed. I'm back on this account to let you know I made a new video that I want your opinion on. I'm not going to watch the video right now, Brickstack, but if you want to send it to me on Instagram, I'll check it out when I can. Did you see my bad message about you being on my your iPad? I didn't. No. No. But you can watch all sorts of devices, make sure you, if you want to put it on multiple devices, get that view time. You can do that, you can share it with your friends and family, hop onto alt accounts and leave a like there, and just take part. Build along with me as well, let me know if you're building a Lego set today, just drop it in the chat. Well, don't actually drop it, that would be, that would be awful. But leave a comment, drop a comment telling me which Lego set you're building, and I will read it out. Did I watch the football today? Well, there was a lot of football today, and for once, I didn't watch it, but I did follow it. So I know that West Ham lost, and because I had family members who went to see that. I know Arsenal lost, because my dad and brother were watching that downstairs, and they're not very happy because they're Arsenal fans. And who else was it? Liverpool. I think Liverpool lost as well. So three pretty big losses, but I'm sure there must have been teams that won. I don't know the teams which won, but I know the teams that lost. So there we go. That's more football knowledge than I usually have. I never do. I actually do not care. Well, HP, okay. Yo, what's good? Hey, Storm Chicken. The set looks so unstable. That's one of my main criticisms. You can see it's just kind of wobbling. Like, I'm really hoping it's gonna it's gonna stay in one piece for the live stream. 
Fingers crossed. Now that Arsenal and Liverpool lost, Man City going to sneak up to the top. Are you a Man City fan? Are you hoping that's what's going to happen, Brick Street Boy? But anyway, this isn't a football live stream. We don't need a... We don't need a deep discussion on the football. Hey, Brit Brick says, let's get the like count up to 100. Yes, sir. If we do get 100 likes, which hasn't actually happened for the last few weeks running, but that's fine. I've been doing less YouTube because of shows and because of A-levels. So I totally understand if we're not going to have as many viewers as we would do. I'm hoping that in the summer I'll just do a ton of YouTube and we will rebuild this channel and it's going to be better than ever. Uh, my videos have been doing well, though, which is good. But if we do get 100 likes, as I said, I will do some karaoke. You guys can pick a song and I will attempt to sing it. Attempt is the key word. I have built the flying car. Should have saved it for now. Ah, unlucky. But that is a cool set. Is that the small, is that the small one? Harry Potter set. Also, I'm a Chelsea fan. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to read that out because it's got a bit of bad language in. But you're a Chelsea fan. Okay, fair enough. I'm actually surprised his academic comeback is working. Well, the academic comeback, we'll see if it's working when it comes to uh, the exam dates. But I have actually been revising this week. So if my mum's listening, I have actually been revising. Uh, if my dad's listening, I have been revising. So I've got my revision timetable and everything. TLB, what did you get in your GCSEs? I got three nines, three eights, three sevens, and two sixes. Yeah, that's probably not gonna mean anything to anyone who doesn't really understand the new system that we've got. But, well, it's not that new anymore, is it? But, uh, yeah, basically, I did I did well. Most of them were, I guess, equivalent to A's, A stars, and, and that sort of thing. TLB is smart. Thank you. Thank you. There is some music coming from the other room, even though I explicitly told my sister not to put the speaker on. So I love how considerate she's being right now. But I really hope that she's not going to turn it up, and hopefully I'll just carry on and you won't be able to hear it. If you hear any music in the background, blame my sister. GCSEs mean absolutely nothing past getting into college. Well, GCSE is a stepping stone, isn't it? So if you want to get into a certain school that's then going to put you in a better place to do a certain thing or to do a college or a course or whatever. Yeah, I can't hear anything. It's very minimal. Good, good. That's what I would like to hear. Which hood piece do you prefer? The new one without the bottom or the... I can hear my sister singing now. This is, this is great. What hood piece do you prefer? The new one without the bottom or the old one used for Darth Maul? I think definitely the new one. You know, it... I didn't like it initially, but it's definitely grown on me. Especially that Emperor Palpatine minifigure from the Emperor's Throne Room diorama. That's a solid minifigure. I actually got another one of that set because I saw it on sale for pretty cheap. So I got it quite cheaply offline and I decided, yep, yeah, I'm going to get it. So I can hear, well, I can't, I can't really do anything about that aside from ask my sister to be quiet. And that, that didn't work. I did that just before the live stream started and very nearly missed the start. And I came in completely breathless, but that's fine. I hope you're well, Ed and Cynthia. Oh, yeah, yeah, Ed and Cynthia, I hope you're doing great. TLB, ha thoughts on Darth Maul not having pupils? Well, he has students and not pupils. No, that was a bad, that was a bad joke. Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about the eyes. And to be honest, I don't really mind that much because he does have quite odd looking eyes and it does match the new style. I don't really understand why they decide. Oh, I really hope you can't hear that. Otherwise, she's going to drive me insane. Uh, I really hope that they keep all of them the same from now on. So I hope that if they're going with that no pupils look for the Sith eyes, they keep that. Otherwise, you're just going to have characters with pupils and without. But at the moment, Palpatine, Maul, together, they're going to look fine. Do it again, but make a big thing out of it this time. Do what? Just keep revising. Can't hear your sister at all. Okay, that's good. I don't, I don't know, just keep revising. I'm not going to be revising, but uh, I'm going to be streaming. I think that's what you mean. I can't, I can't hear any music. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Right. I'm going to start bag 10. And the first thing I've got to do is a four times step, which is fun. Uh, and I think that's for the back. So here we go. I'm going to kick this off. I don't hear anything. Good. 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 I can. I can hear it. It's driving me crazy, but it's fine. Uh, let's get the light count up. And should we say, what's the light count now? What's the light count at now? Anybody just drop the like count in chat and I'll set us a like goal. Then we can do some Star Wars trivia. As I say, let's get the like goal up. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And if you'd like to donate and support my next video, quality content wouldn't be possible without your support. So please do consider donating with a link in the description. You thought that the pupils were a weird choice. Okay. The new style is awful. Hera should have people should clearly visible in the show. Oh, Hera should have pupils. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the Ahsoka show. I see what you mean. I see. It's another problem for Lego Souls. Yeah, I, I can kind of see that. I thought the hair minifigure was okay. I, I did a whole video where I ranked... You know what? This is going to be the first cheeky plug. 
This is going to be the first cheeky plug of the day. Let's go. I'm going to plug it. It's a video from like last year, but it is called I Rank Every Ahsoka Minifigure. Seven months ago. That's mad. Seven months ago. That's crazy. Right. Here we go. I'm going to drop it in there. Boom. There we go. So that is the video where I ranked all the Ahsoka minifigures. And I think Hera ranked fairly high. I, ca I can't remember. That's crazy. Seven months. I mean, I'm, I apologize for the lack of activity. There is a video in the works. It's currently in the editing stage. So uh, blame Flowbricks. No, I'm joking. Flo I, know, I, know, I hope. I'd say I know, but I hope that Flowbricks is, is doing his best. So, and I'll have that out for you as soon as possible. But if you've already seen the video, what if, hear me out, it's a radical suggestion. If you watched it again, you might enjoy it even more now that the Ahsoka series is finished. So, yap, yap, software closed. Oh, okay, okay, Flowbricks. He's here. See, then again, would look really weird with no pupils since the film. They literally focus a few seconds on his eyes. I wonder whether they would do that, though. I mean, if they did, if they did include pupils, it would be a bit of a weird inconsistency. So, no, I'm, I'm leaning towards disliking the pupils. But to be honest, it's such a minor detail, I don't really care. I'm just, I'm just not that big of a... Uh, I'm just not that big of a critic of Lego. Never seen the Ahsoka series. What's your opinion on it? Best Star Wars show. Like, I loved it. It got better and better and better and better. Literally every episode was better than the last one. There was one episode which was particularly good, so I guess that's a lie, but... It was just such a good series overall. And I think the ratings, the fan ratings, the critics' reviews, everything, it was, that shows how good that show was. It is really good. If you haven't seen Ahsoka, you are missing out. Cannot wait for the um, Mando, Ahsoka kind of crossover film that they were talking about. And the Mando film to come to the big screen. Currently the title is The Mandalorian and Grogu. I feel like they should probably fire the person who came up with that as the name of the film. But hey, it looks good definitely can't wait to see star wars back in the cinema speaking of star wars back in the cinema who else is hoping to go and see the phantom menace back in cinemas on may 1st because well it's that first week of may now i've got shows on the second third and fourth of may i'm in a production of we will rock you so i'm busy but if i can find the time at some point in that first week of may and i can get my parents to take me or something I would love to go and see because I saw a poster. I went to the cinema uh, the other day to see a film for my brother's birthday, which was called Civil War, which is currently out in, in the cinemas. We can talk a bit about that if people are interested. But I saw the poster and I was like, yes, I've got to go and see this. Hey, Brick Twins, welcome. I'm seeing it twice this May. You're seeing it twice. So hype for the pod race. Ah, oh, Ed the Block, I think he's here, Blocks Bricks. He said that, yeah, you're 100% you're saying, yeah, he said that episode one is his favourite Star Wars film, or at least that pod race scene. It might not be the favourite Star Wars film, I might be mixing it up, but the pod race scene is your favourite scene. I, I'm, I wish I could experience that with you. Like, episode one ranks fairly low on my list of how good Star Wars films are, but it's still great. I mean, the last 30 minutes of that film, when you got Darth Maul, you got Jar Jar, no, I mean, Jar Jar, Jar Jar's all right, but he's definitely not the best thing that happened to that film. When you've got the battle going on in the sky, you've got the Gungans fighting the droids, you've got uh, Queen Amidala kind of running to intercept that Viceroy. It's, yeah, it's mad. Episode 1 is the second best Star Wars film. Is it because it's got Watto in it? Watto. Chilling in the streets of Colorado. Watto. Yeah, I still remember Flowbricks. I still remember. The new Young Annie looks good for the Harry Potter tan piece in Dark Tan. Which one do you mean? Both. Favourite film and scene. There we go. See? I know you too well. That's good. That's good. Shows I'm a true friend. Right. Hmm. I'm not actually going to finish this, am I? No, I am. I am. I need to do this. Okay, so let me do... Ah, I've done this tiny full-time set. So I've done one of four. That's... that's. I don't know whether you can see that. You may have to zoom in on your screen. So I think YouTube does have that feature now. But it's just basically this little thing here. And I need to do that four times. So while you guys are putting your thoughts on whether you're going to go and see The Phantom Menace again in the comments. I'm going to bang out these builds. Greetings, Green Goose. Greetings, my friend. Good to have you here. Qui-Gon makes it a cinematic masterpiece. Yeah, that's cool. You know what I'd love? If I was going to see Phantom Menace at the cinema and then like Liam Neeson walked in the front. Can you imagine? Liam Neeson and Ewan McGregor just walked in. I'd, I'd lose my mind. I'd lose my mind. I've already got two tickets for yourself. I assume not on the same day, otherwise 
I don't know if you've got a time machine or something to see the same film twice, but... Have you noticed origin films just being named after the main characters? Last or first name, like Wonka. They're probably going to make Potter. What, what are other examples of that? I'm trying to think. I mean, Wonka is the example you've given, but... I don't... I'm struggling to think of any others. Phantom Menace is good. Oh, you won't be seeing episode one, lol. Enough for the first time. Whoa. Britain Bricks is not a fan of episode one, clearly. Every saga has a beginning, and it was a pretty good beginning. It was not the best. I fully agree with you on that, Britain Bricks. I'm not one of these people that's going to overhype a film for being better than it actually was. We can talk about the Phantom Menace 25th anniversary. Yeah, it is 25th years. 20... 25th years, I can't speak. 25 years since Phantom Menace came out. And that was the year that Lego Star Wars started as well. We can talk about those sets. Half decent beginning. Ooh, Green Goose. Suddenly the Phantom Menace... The Phantom Menace haters are just appearing. I've just noticed that there are three people in the chat with the same hairpiece. Brick Street Boy, Flo Bricks and me. Ah, you'll, you'll, you'll go with the basic hairpiece. It actually kind of looks like my hair now. I wonder... Do you think I need to change my um, sig fig because of the new hair? Because I no longer have the quiff. Yeah. No, I like it. You l oh, you like you like the Phantom Menace, okay. You guys look like triplet. Oh, that's the three of you. Nice. You fall asleep. You fall asleep in it. Oh, Bloxbriggs is not going to be happy. He loves that film. It's your favourite hair piece. Yeah, uh, probably, probably would be a more accurate hair piece for me now, to be honest. Never thought I'd see the day, but hey. Look, I've got my limited edition Europe 2023 Star Wars Celebration mug. I only remember this existed. Brit, I'll make you one in the blend. Yeah, you can make it up to me for having the video a month late. No, I'm, I'm, I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. Phantom Menace is underrated. Honestly, it gets outshined by Revenge of the Sith. I mean, every film, every Star Wars film gets outshined by Revenge of the Sith, aside from possibly Rogue One, because the last time I saw that film, I thought, what a masterpiece. What a masterpiece. I mean, if you haven't watched Star Wars, I would I would love to experience watching Star Wars for the first time again. Uh, there's a lot of things I'd love to experience for the first time again. I mean, my friend Blaster Brick Studios, who I went to, um, I went to the Art of the Brick exhibition in London with yesterday, he was experiencing watching The Office for the first time, and he's about kind of season two. I've got The Office Lego set here, by the way. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. And I said to him, you have no idea how good it's going to get. Like, genuinely, if I could experience The Office again, I, I would in a heartbeat. I've rewatched it the whole the whole way through. Like, The Office is so good. Not going to lie, I think the BTS hair in Dark... I don't, I don't want to think I look like BTS. That's not good. Lol, TRB, I mostly fall asleep during the pod race. Oh, dear. Lol, Sean, that's just because we're getting old. <laughs> Yo, Conch Gaming, good to see you. Welcome. Imagine missing the new Stud Squadron video premiere. Imagine not caring. I don't have to imagine. No, sorry, that was hard. I don't, I don't know who Stud Squadron is. Um, stay here. <laughs> sorry, that was rather aggressive. Did you know E.T. is in episode one and Yoda's in E.T.? Yes. Well, I did GCC film studies, and E.T. is one of the films that we study, and we do watch that scene where Yoda comes in. It's the trick-or-treating scene, actually. It's not officially Yoda. It's just uh, a trick-or-treater dressed up as Yoda. And there is the... I'm going to use my film studies um, terminology here. The leitmotif of Yoda. That's Yoda's theme. You know, the... Do-do-do-do-do... Um, that one. No, did I get that wrong? I didn't, was that right? Maybe, maybe I... I think I think that's right. I want to say I got it right. Correct me if I'm wrong. I might have mixed it up with one of the other themes in Empire Strikes Back. This is embarrassing. But they've got that Yoda theme. They've got that theme in there. It's, it's the leitmotif. That's it. Yeah. Lol, how do you miss your own video, lol? What? How do I miss my own video? I don't know. Uh, TLB, I'm sorry, but there's a lot of things I'd like to experience for the first time. Could have some... Okay. Okay, Jalebo. I'm I'm not going to respond to that. <sighs> yeah, that, that is Yoda's theme. Okay, okay, I got it right. Yeah, so they've got that in E.T. And then you're right, in The Phantom Menace, they do actually have... Have I done this wrong? In The Phantom Menace, they actually have E.T. species in... Uh, I think it's the Senate building, isn't it? You've got all the different species. 
So I'm recovering from a cold. So uh, we've got all these different species in the center, and I think one of them, just in the corner of the shot, is is uh, E.T. and his species. So maybe, maybe Star Wars is actually set in the real world. TLB, have you watched The Boys on Amazon Prime? It's an amazing show. I haven't. I've seen it advertised. It's I, what's it about? Tell me what it's about, Brick Street Boy. I think that's Yoda's theme. Yes. Yes. By the way, can someone update me what the light count is? Because I don't think I ever got a conclusive answer. It is confirmed. Is it confirmed that E.T. came from Star Wars? Well, in Star Wars canon, technically, there is an E.T. there. So, just saying. Let's go, guys. Keep him chatting. He only has three parts together. Get those. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Actually, no, you're right. You, you are right. I only have done three of these little fittings. But... That's, I mean, I barely got any to do, so I can afford to take a long time. As I say, if I finish this, you guys can vote on which build you'd like me to do next. 31, okay, let's say 40 likes, we're going to do one Star Wars trivia. So I'm going to read it from the book. You guys can even pick which era of Star Wars, which film or TV show you want me to have the trivia based on. I'll ask you a question and then I'll shout out the people who are the first to answer. TLB, you look like you'd be at the TikTok Riz party with that hair. What, because I've just got W Riz, is that what you're saying? Look at that. <laughs> um, moving on. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Famous last words, TLB. No, 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 I think I actually, I think I actually can finish it. Greetings, long time no see. Hey, Marvel Bricks, good to see you. Please do drop a like. Right, come on, let's get this, let's get this going. Ah, not the mewing, yeah, yeah. Oh dear, never say W Riz again. Excuse me, excuse me. Someone else brought up Riz. It was, who was it? Was it Forest Elf Lego? Blame Forest Elf Lego. Don't blame on me. It's not my fault. Yeah. Greetings, Conch Gaming. Oh, see what I mean about that set being fragile? Like, if I hit it, it will literally move. Got the TikTok fluffy hair. Yeah, because cause I'm just so fine. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. 32 likes, let's keep them coming. Come on. <coughs> Sorry. Come on, guys. Oh, what's happened to my voice? There we go. Don't know what that was. Let me have a sip of tea. See, I'm recovering from a bit of an illness. I feel like I'm always getting ill. It's really annoying. I was ill earlier this week, and I'm feeling much better today, which is excellent. Just ever so often, I randomly need to cough. Lol, Forrest Elf didn't say W Riz. Yeah, but he said Riz, so... Okay, fine. Fine. I suggest buying the flying car set for £12. It's really good. Is that Harry Potter? Are you talking about the um, the one that get, crashes into the Whomping Willow with Ron and Hermione? No, Ron and Harry. Chamber of Secrets, right? You got a driver's license, Brit? No, I don't. No, unfortunately. At some point I will. At some point. I didn't say the F word. I'm scared to hear Sean say Riz on a stream. <laughs> womp womp. My ear's infected and I can't hear. Ah, oh, that's unlucky. Forest Elf. Womp womp. No, I'm joking. That was, that was horrible. Uh, <laughs> ad break time. Sorry, guys. I know YouTube adds their, adds their ads in. Maybe it was best that it added it in. Maybe you all missed the bit where I um, kept up the, the mewing streak. Oh, no, I coughed. No, I didn't say the F word. I coughed. Hey, Dominic Jones, 43. Hi, good to see you. Please do smash the like button and welcome on into the live stream. I'm going to finish this UCS X Queen today, so do stick around. You're wild, bro. Me? Me? Or someone else? Oh, yeah, because I said womp womp. <laughs> hey, it's me, Lewis. Bro, sup? What's up? You said that. I did not say the F word. I coughed. Wow, guys. I'll have to replay it and see if it sounded in any way inappropriate, but I did, I did honestly cough. Right. I've got to drink this tea before it goes cold. How many likes are we on? I said 40 likes and we'll start the trivia. Why did I say that so poshly? Trivia. 35. Oh, Stanley. Stanley Hudson fell off his chair in the office. If you know, you know. If you don't, then watch the office. There. Let's attach him. Come on, guys. Five more likes and we will do some trivia. It won't be the worst thing TLB has said. Let's let's not recap the worst the worst things TLB has said because that, that just doesn't need to happen today. I feel like TLB can say anything. It doesn't sound like words. Any accent, any voice. Oh, he can say anything, it doesn't sound wrong. Oh, well, thank you. I guess, I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Like it up, everybody, like it up. Tell me swearing compilation. That would be a very short compilation, because 
Have I ever sworn on a live stream? I don't think so. No, I... Maybe, maybe under my breath during that awful live stream where I tried to build the X-Wing and it didn't work. But I don't think I have sworn on a live stream. I don't swear very much in real life anyway. What's your favourite 25th anniversary Star Wars figure released so far? Good question. I haven't got any of them yet. That's a lie. I have the set, but I don't... So, I have got one of them. And the one set that I have, but I haven't opened it yet, is the Tantif boarding set with Arc Trooper 5s of the 25th anniversary. I really like that, but I'm also quite tempted to say Darth Malak. Who's the other? Is it Saul Guerrero? Is he released yet? He was announced, wasn't he? In the Sith Infiltrator. So that's the third one. Oh, and I guess you could count you can I guess you could count the classic Darth Maul remake from the new book. Um I might have to go Darth Malak. I've always I've always loved dark side characters. Like when I was younger, I really, really wanted Darth Malgus. I looked over there because I have got it now. Casual flex, I know. So I might have to go with Darth Malak. Because it is such a cool character. I didn't even know he existed until Lego decided, yep, let's just randomly chuck him in a set, and I love it. It's it's awesome. So I might have to go out and get the R2D2. Even though I have the big one. Which is probably the reason they chose to make such a cool minifigure in that set. Your pronunciation of Malak. What what am I saying wrong? How should I say it? I'm saying Malak. What should I be saying? Malak? Malak? No, I don't think that's right. It's pronounced... Oh, is it? Malak. Darth Malak. No, why is it... Malik? It's not Malik. Oh, is it Malak? Oh, I'm saying Malak. I'm just... I'm just... I'm just calling... Is, is it Malik? <laughs> Sorry, I, I had the potential to do something really funny, but also really rude, so I won't... <laughs> It's pronounced Malak, okay. Alright. No. Malak. My life is a lie. Tell me it's because you're British. Whoa. Can we can we stop with the, the anti Britishness? I always say Malik. <sighs> okay. Everyone says it differently, apparently, so that's fine. Anyway, I'm almost done with this sort of step of four, finally, 28 minutes into the live stream. Keep liking it up, guys, and we're going to do some trivia at 40 likes. As I said, if you would like to donate and support the channel, it's really appreciated. We haven't got many viewers, so your support is always appreciated when it comes to particularly my next video. Uh, Flowbricks is hopefully going to have that ready very soon. Is he still there? Come on, Flowbricks. You can do this. You can do this. Malik is the pronoun... Is it? TLB, remember who won the revolution? Okay. Okay. Bringing up historical battles to discredit me. Hot take. Return of the Jedi is underrated. That's not a hot take at all. Totally agree. Return of the Jedi is probably my favourite of the original trilogy. I, I really like that film. I saw it when it was released for the 40th anniversary last year. It was great. Loved it. I don't know how to spell the pronunciation of Malak. Ugh. What's up, TLB, a.k.a. Vito Corolo Leon? I don't know what that means. I want to say flying car. Would you prefer Enchanted Ford from the, the hit series Harry Potter that can levitate at great... Okay, fine. Thank you for clarifying which flying car you meant. It's the Ford Anglia. That's it. I knew I had it in there somewhere. Malik or Malak or Malak? I don't know. I don't know. Right. Let's, let's almost finish here. And then I'm attaching that to the back of the X-Wing, hoping it doesn't break. And then st starting the next thing, which I believe is going to be the engines. And then we're done. I'll give you a quick review, an overview of this, and then you guys can vote on my next build. Hey, Legend Lego, welcome. What's up? This pronunciation hurts. That was nice. This pronunciation hurts my brain. I'm sorry. I can't help that. Bro, Empire is the best of the OG. Return of Jedi is amazing, but he's the worst. Oh, really? I go with New Hope is the worst. And that's not because none of the originals are bad films. Empire is great, but I, I just feel like Return of the Jedi is, is, is better. I, I don't know. I really need your help. I need £120 for Mafex Gambit. What is Mafex Gambit? Mafex Gambit? Is, is that some sort of Mafex... Mafex Gambit. I'm trying to think of. Is that? Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm being stupid. I don't know what that is. Uh, Conch Gaming. Thank you so much, Conch Gaming. Thank you. Put a five dollar donation. Thank you so much, man. 
that's going to go a long way in supporting the channel. So thank you so much. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Shout out to you. It's going to pop up just here anytime now. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to appear on that bar, I don't think, because Streamlabs is stupid and it only counts people who use the description. But don't worry. I'll remember that you donated. So thank you so much, Conch Gaming. Appreciate that. Hey, TLB, I need your help too at some point and voice lines in the near future. Could be a month or a year. Wow, that's uncertain. But yeah, if you want voice lines, Slimo, drop me a DM and I'll see what I can do. It's an action figure. Look, I, I might be able to help you, Forest Elf Lego, but I do not have £120, I'm afraid. Yeah. It's a shame. It's a shame. I wish. Uh, it's up there, Green Bricks. What's up there? Empire is the best film of all time. The best film? Okay. I mean, I have seen people say that it's the best film of all time. I mean, hmm. I suppose I don't fully appreciate Empire for the story twist that was I Am Your Father, because I watched the prequels first. I suppose when it came out, it was just way more insane. Come on, are you going to pop up? Is the alert box going to show at all today? Let's look. There we go. Right. We've got the jumping dinosaur. Nice. Nice. Thank you, Conch Gaming. I appreciate it. When someone says that, instead of, you can say, what the fl what the flip, bro? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Yo, Sean. Hey, Sean. No, yeah, Sean's been here all along, Slimo. You need to realise. Are you going to see Deadpool 3? No, I ended up watching Deadpool 1 with uh, with friends at Sleepover back in Feb... No. Uh, yeah, I want to say February, maybe... February, Mar it was Pancake Day. Maybe March. No. February. I don't know. Whenever Pancake Day was, I ended up watching Deadpool and I actually hated it. It was actually like... I, I didn't watch it all. I, I genuinely decided I just didn't want to watch any more. I just didn't... Un I didn't understand why people enjoyed that film. It was just... I I'm sorry, but it was just awful. It, I, I, I... Words cannot express how annoyed I felt that people were actually paying attention to that film. It was... Sorry, I'm, I'm giving a really fiery review of Deadpool. And I didn't even watch it all. I mean, I kind of walked in and out of it, but I started watching the first 20 minutes and I thought, what is this trash? What is going on? Like, genuinely. Oh dear. All the Marvel fans are going to be very upset about this. I'm sorry. But I just thought it was... It was... The story was poor, and it was all also really crass for no reason at all. It was... Yeah. Just did not... Did not like it. But hey, if you like it, good for you. I wish I could have liked it. Everybody else, I was also sitting with, um, <coughs> when I watched it, sorry. <clears throat> no way, I'm not swearing. Uh, I was also sitting at the time with, um, three couples. So I was, what's the, what's the term for it? Seventh wheeling. I was seventh wheeling during that film, yeah. Maybe that's why I hated it so much. Maybe that affected my, well, I was sitting there, all these little couples, blah, blah, and I was just sat there like, Okay, all these couples, you know, coming up, uh, I'm just sat there, and I actually thought, this film is so bad, I can't do it anymore, so I just went into the kitchen, made myself a cup of tea, and went on my phone. No, I wasn't crying, Forest Elf, no, I wasn't crying. I was just sat there, I don't know if it, any, I'm sure people would have third wheeled, but seventh wheeling is, is, is something, for sure. There were like three sofas, and I was kind of perched on a little chair, and I was like, this is, this is not fun. Yeah. Hey, Luke. Good to see you. I haven't watched Deadpool 1. No, I wouldn't watch it, Luke. I wouldn't watch it. I can tell you who those people were, actually, when I see you. Uh, what on your first job? You have a job, Slimo? Congrats. What's your opinion on Stephen Hawking? I, can we keep it to Lego, please? I'm not going to make... I'm not going to... I'm not going to... I don't want to go there. Okay, uh, let's... Now, I'm going to attach these little bits here. Basically a bit of greebling to the back of the X-Wing. So let me turn it around. Nah, no way. What's no way? The seventh wheeling. Yeah, but it's, it, it was tough. It was tough. Okay, how do I do it? I've got, I've got to get this right. So give me one second, guys. Please do hit the like button. I would love nothing more than by the time I finish this step to be able to literally just say, yes, let's do Truya. But big shout out to Conch Gaming for the first donation of the day. Really appreciate that. That's going to go a long way in supporting the channel. Obviously, I prefer when people use the link, which is coming directly to me. But anything is fine and it's very much appreciated. So shout out to you, Conch Gaming. You're awesome. 
Okay. There we go. Just got to do one more. Two more. One more side. There we go. See, see how flimsy that is? Just, just wobbly, 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 wobbly. All right. One more. There we go. Oh, no, that's not right. I was so, so close, but so far. Wait, what? It's telling me to put the wings in, but I, I don't want to. I really don't want to, because when you put the wings in, it's... All right, hang on. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Go in. Is that it? Okay, okay. I've got it. I've got it now. I have, to, I, have to, I have to do it with the wings in for no real reason. Sorry, guys. Bear with me. I just want to get this right. Okay. Is that right? Sorry, guys. Stay with me. My little brother loves your vids and the Star Wars sets. I was wondering if you could chat him out. He's watching with me. It's his birthday. His name is... Okay. Spectre 7. I, I'm not... I, I can't shout your brother out if that's his name. I, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's 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 not happening. I thought I thought this was gonna be a really wholesome comment, and then I got to the end, and no, that's okay. I never told you my dog Marley died the same day you posted about. Oh, I'm so sorry, Blocks Bricks. I'm really sorry. Wait, so so Marley, your dog, died at the same day mine did. Ah, oh, we lost Marley and Woody the same day. That's sad. Yeah, I lost I lost my dog. If you don't know, um, well, we we do have three dogs, but I lost. Uh, my favourite one because he was he was always there for me. Uh, he was he was the best. Um, when was that? April? No, was it April? March? March? I think. Uh, yeah, it's it's tough losing a pet. It's been tough on the family, but uh, I really hope you're all right, Blocks Bricks. It, it, I know how tough it is. So um, love and prayers. Right, have I done that right? Okay, I hope so. Give me a sec. Okay. See it, see, it doesn't quite lock in. That's that's the interesting thing about this. Now I'm going to extend the S foils to attack position. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Oh. See, that's the thing. It, it, it doesn't have, like, a locking mechanism. So it's kind of just sits like that. Which is fine. Which is fine. But you just have to... You can see the X. It's cool, right? Please, no jokes about... Okay. Uh, it's crazy we lost our dogs on the exact same day. I saw your post later, later Cynthia came home and found my... Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Hey, maybe Woody and Marley found each other in dog heaven. Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be awesome. 45 likes on your screen. I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Let's see. We are on... 44 likes. I can see 44. Right, let's do some trivia then. Let's do some trivia. Maybe it was talking about the dogs that got people to like. <laughs> I don't know. Everyone loves Everyone loves dogs. Everyone loves dogs. I, I miss Woody dearly. Um, let's do this. Ultimate Star Wars. Oh, I've just told you the book again. If you have the book, don't you dare cheat, okay? Which, which any... I can't speak. Which area of Star Wars would you guys like to do trivia on? Come on, guys. Bro is three, no way he's called Yeah. Bro, okay. Moving on. Uh, all dogs go to heaven. Amen. I mean, I, I saw this post earlier today, Blocks Rick, and it was like, the Garden of Eden was perfect and it had animals in. Heaven's perfect, so why can't it have animals too? And I was like, actually, you know what? There might be onto something there. Clone Wars. Okay, everyone, all these Clone Wars fans. Look at this. You're all too predictable. Fine, let's do some Clone Wars trivia. Uh, please do smash the like button because we'll do another one at 50 likes. Do consider donating with the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed. So, uh, we're going to do Clone Wars. Let's do it. Clone Wars. And I'm, I've got to find the answers as well. Even though, if I do just tell myself I'm pretty good at trivia, I don't want to get it wrong. Right, I will pick it. I'll pick a fairly... Ooh, this is, this is tough. Uh, right. Okay. Here we go. What is the name? So this is from the Clone Wars animated series. What is the name of Bo-Katan Kreese's sister? What is the name of Bo-Katan Kreese's sister? <laughs> Any takers? This is a fairly easy question. If you watch the Clone Wars. If you didn't watch Clone Wars, then I apologise because you're not going to know. 
Satine, Darth Vader, no, that would be a plot twist, wouldn't it? Satine, Duchess Satine, yes. Obi-Wan's one true love, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a bonus point if you tell me how she died. Duchess Satine, what happened to her? Anybody know? What happened? <laughs> Obi-Wan can, Obi I don't think Obi-Wan did it. No, that'd be, that would be, uh... Darth Maul, yes! That's right, Luke. Darth Maul. Yeah. Darth Maul did it. See, people say The Clone Wars is a kid's show, and then they watch that scene, which is just, like, dark, isn't it? It's dark. Mauled. I guess that's one way of putting it. Hey, Darth Jar Jar. Welcome. Good to see you. Please hit the like button, guys, because we're going to do another one of those trivias, not necessarily about The Clone Wars, in, well, however many likes it takes to get to 50. And then we'll keep going up every 10 likes. And if we reach 100, I will do some um, some singing. I'll do some karaoke. That seemed as brutal. It was, yeah. She got mauled my by... I can't speak. She got mauled by... Well, that's why you put mine. That's why it put me off, Luke. She got mauled by maul. She did, unfortunately. I prefer Savage over maul. Ooh. Hot take. Hot take. Okay. Lego Brit, what's your favourite Star Wars show? I answered this earlier, Chopper 57, um, but not explicitly, Ahsoka as well. It is a really good, it is a really good show. Like, I love the ghost set as well so much, like, I actually redid my shelves a little bit just so that I could display the ghost there. I got the little Death Star 2 promo for May the 4th, which was last, last year's May the 4th, right? TLB, are you Savage Press? Yes, I am Savage Press. I am yellow, I have horns. And a six pack. Only one of those is true. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? My name is Oliver Brown, so I feel a great connection, a deep connection to Obi Wan. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Clone Wars is obviously the best show. Hmm. I'm not sure the best show. Maybe the best animated show. Mando season three got too much hate. Agreed, agreed. I rewatched it recently and I really enjoyed it. Ghost set's my favourite Lego set I own. Only thing that could have been fixed in that ghost set was that minifigure selection, which I felt like was the worst of the minifigures from the Ahsoka series. That Jason minifigure is just inaccurate. I guess it was the source material, but yeah. Hey, I'm back. Back in black. Hey, Jedi Bob. Clone Wars is the best series, especially season season five. Is is a great series. Is is that the one when you got Dathomir? And, and is that the Barris of Fee season as well? Wait, what if the Lego Brit had his bones made of Lego and his blood is made? Oh, that's, that's dark. I can confirm I'm not actually made of Lego. I actually like season three Mandalorian. Same, same. I'm glad to see that it's getting some love. What was my favourite death in the whole Star Wars? Well, you said the whole Star Wars trilogy. Do you mean the Skywalker saga or which trilogy? Because... Or just all of Star Wars. Because you said the whole Star Wars trilogy. But that could be referring to any of the three. <laughs> proof. I, I don't know what, what you would want for proof. But um, I, I, you're going to have to take my word for it. That I'm not made of Lego. Sorry. Can we do some trivia about the films? Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Gap Bricks says... Okay. TLB, do you want to hear a riddle? What's the riddle then? What's the riddle? Why? Oh, your profile picture as well is, is wild. Okay. Right, let me do some building while you put, uh, hopefully, a very appropriate riddle in the chat. I'm watching you, Gap Bricks. Actually, I'm not watching. Okay. Never mind. Just in all of Star Wars, what has... No, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. Not that one. Not that one. I, not that one. Okay. Anyway, um, moving on. Yeah, well done. Okay, okay. Just, just, just not even going to read that one out. Just in all of Star Wars, my favourite death. Um, hmm. Darth Vader has a really, really special death, doesn't he? I think that, that's the first one that comes to mind, to be honest with you. Yoda as well. Yoda has a great death. But I, I'm tempted to say Vader because it was his redemption and it was just really special. Whereas Yoda kind of just rolled over and died. Mods, take action. Yeah, bro got the ban hammer, yeah. 
Come on, mods. How come I had to delete that? Gap bricks, you can you can stay watching the live stream, you just need to be sensible. And that can perhaps start by changing your name. Have you watched Andor? I'm thinking of watching it, but I need people's opinions on the show. Oh no, Luke. Oh. Because that question is just gonna tear the chat apart now. Andor is I didn't enjoy it the first time I watched it, but I did the second time I watched it. It's I, I don't even, I will let the chat answer this question, because if I start talking about Andor, I'll give you a 30 minute, like, I'll talk to you about it in real life, Luke, okay? Genuinely, I think you should watch it, though, because it adds a lot to Rogue One. It's an enjoyable piece of Star Wars, if you have the patience to sit through it. So, that that's kind of my one, my one cent. What was that? Did you guys see that? Oh, wait, no, what was that? No, oh, it's the, the stand. Okay, this is fun. Right, basically the stand. You know this stand is pretty flimsy. I've got to reattach this. Hang on, give me a second. I've got to go under the table now to grab whatever that was that just flew off the X-wing for no particular reason. That's what I mean. That this is pretty fragile, which is a shame. I, I I think it's because, and I'll explain my reasoning for saying this. I think it's because the design of the stand is not a great design. Now, the reason that they went with such a design is because it was supposed to be almost like paying tribute to the classic Lego X-Wing, which is now worth a lot if you wanted to buy it. But that means that they're kind of sacrificing what would be a really clever modern design like the UCS A-Wing, which is a perfect stand. I've got that behind me for a stand that kind of taps into nostalgia, but really is quite outdated. It also looks pretty blocky. I'm not really a fan of the stand, to be honest. I understand why they did it, but I, I just think it could have been so much better. Give me a sec. I need to grab this. Actually, I might be able to get it with my foot. There we go. Okay. Do you watch gangster movies? Uh, I can't really say it's something I'm that into, Slimo. Sorry. Okay. There. I have now... I was about to say I've now repaired it, and then it the table shook. What's better, toast or crumpets? Probably toast. I'm not a big crumpet person. Might surprise some people, but not all British people like crumpets. Not all British people like tea, but if you don't like tea, then I don't like you. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> what are you building? I am building the Lego Star Wars UCS. It's on the thumbnail and in the title and there. I'm building the Lego Star Wars UCS X-Wing. It's, it's right here. Uh, yes, I'm building the UCS X-Wing. Someone tell me what crumpets are. I'm not British. Someone explain it. I, I really do not have the brain power to explain crumpets to an American right now. Smash likes. We are at 50. Okay. Give me one sec. And I'm just going to... Oh, well, I say one sec and then I'll be done. I'm literally that close, which is awesome. All right, let me do one more step. I've only got a few more steps to go and then I'm done. We're closing in on one hour. So afterwards, what I may do is get you guys to vote on which set you would like me to build next. And... Yeah, we can do that. Crumpets are, crumpets are trumpets, but with bread inside the... Okay, yeah, you could really confuse him. They're round, soft bread things with holes. I mean, that's a fair description, but that also kind of describes a donut. It's... And me, Lego David Master. Hey, Lego David Stunts, good to see you. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Where was I? 50 likes. Let's double check that. I'm seeing 50 likes, so we're going to do one more trivia. I'm going to pick a random page from this book, and I'm going to ask a Star Wars trivia question. So, fingers at the ready, everybody. Fingers at the ready. Here we go. Oh, that's a terrible page. Anybody watch the Star Wars Resistance animated series? Even I didn't watch that. Okay, fine. I'm picking a different page, because that... No, I'm not, I didn't even bother. Right, here we go. Hmm. Yeah, but again, this is... Oh, okay. Hmm. Let, let's try one more. Let's try one more, guys. <laughs> so much for the randomness. It came up with Star Wars Rebels, but some really specific questions, and I feel like I'd have to give you multiple choice, and people could just guess. Right, one more. Oh, okay, this is interesting. Yeah, will you do this? 
Who is waiting for young Princess Leia at the end of the escape tunnel on Mapuzo? If you haven't seen Obi-Wan Kenobi series, you're screwed for this, but that's fine. We'll do another one. We'll do another one at 60 likes. Who is waiting for Leia at the end of the escape tunnel on Mapuzo? Mapuzo. No idea. Anybody know? Come on. I knew this one. This is supposed to be, this is the, it says easy. This is easy. Green Bricks, Rava. Yes. Rava. The second sister. Is it second? No. Is it second sister? Th third sister? Th it's third sister. The second sister is the one that people are saying might be Barra Sophie now. Which would be crazy. We can talk about that, actually, what, before we get to 60 likes. Uh, the question was, who was waiting for young Princess Leia at the end of the escape tunnel on Mapuzo? And the answer was Raver. That was, I just realised as I was saying it, what a niche question that was. How have you guys not seen Obi-Wan, though? Like, don't listen to the haters. You're missing out if you haven't seen it. The second sister is... Is it the second sister? I think the second sister is, um... The, the one who people think might be Barra Sophie. No, no, the second sister, that's it. So the second sister is the one from uh, Jedi Fallen Order. The seventh sister is the one, the female Mirilan Inquisitor who people think might be Barra Sophie. And the third sister is Rava. Okay. Right. Second is Triller. That's it. That's it. That's it. Triller. Do I need to replay that game for the fourth? Time? I love that game. I love it. Obi Wan is low key good show. It is. He is. He doesn't deserve the hate. I thought it was great. Anyway, speaking of Inquisitors, who else has seen the Tales of the Empire trailer? How cool was that? How cool was the Tales of the Empire trailer? So this is a brand new Star Wars series which we knew nothing about before they dropped this trailer on some random day and it looks so good so it's supposed to be animated a bit like the tales of the jedi in that same style but about the empire following two stories one about grand admiral thrawn and morgan ellsworth and one about barris of fee i mean that's that's crazy i'm sorry if you're watching this and you're not a star wars fan because you will literally have no clue what i'm talking about We'll get back to the sort of broadly, broadly, broadly Lego related topics in a second. But I just, I, I really want to talk about this trailer. Tales of the Empire is better than Acolyte. Well, I'm not sure we can say it's better than the Acolyte until we've seen both the shows. But I think you're right. The hype for Tales of the Empire is probably bigger because, well, they're well-known characters, aren't they? Darth Vader is literally in the trailer. It was unexpected but welcome. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. That was, that was a poor impression. I apologise. Did you play the Lego Star Wars game, the Yoda Chronicles? I didn't know there was a Yoda Chronicles game. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't know there was a Yoda Chronicles game. I knew there was a TV show. I used to watch that. And then they did the new Yoda Chronicles, which was kind of a follow-up to the original ones. Matteo Milesi Martin. Hello. Seeing blood in Star Wars animation. Is there blood in that? Is there? Whereabouts in The Tales of the Jedi? Talk about Scream. What do you mean? The film? I haven't seen it, sorry. Hey, official nerdy channel, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. I am. How are you? Gosh, I played it when I was like five and they got rid of it. No. I can't wait for Barra Sophie the storyline because I love the season five for not. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've been waiting to see what happened to Barra Sophie and I, I'm definitely buying from... Oh, there was. There was blood. Okay. I'm definitely buying into the theory that she's going to turn out to be the seventh sister. Come on. Why do we not have any Lego sets rumoured for the Acolyte? Why do we not have any Lego sets rumoured for Tales of the Empire? Why have we still not got a Tales of the Jedi Lego set? And we got the Young Jedi Adventure stuff. Lego, what's going on? Where, where, is, the, where is the stuff at? Where's my Barra Sophie Inquisitor style minifigure? We need it. Man, I've, lit I've littered trophies around your bedroom. Find them and the hostages survive. Fall and they perish. Of course, someone with your limited intellect would most likely fail. Oh, hello, Riddler. Um, I don't really believe you, I'm afraid. Sorry. Lego Top G. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, where, where are the Tales of the Jedi sets? 
Where's my Yaddle minifigure? Where's my young Count Dooku? Why don't they do a CMF series that includes minifigs from Tales of the Jedi, Tales of the Empire? How cool would that be? What does a liar do when he's dead? I don't know. Lie? Because he's dead? I don't think Barris is the seventh. We know a bit too much about her. Mm, maybe. But they're this... No, I, I, I think they... Because she goes on to be an Inquisitor in this trailer, at least. So she's either going to be killed off. Or... Or she's going to turn into the Inquisitor. I don't, I don't see another path for her. It's a bit like, I thought Raver should have been killed off in the Obi-Wan series, because instead they just left her on Tatooine, and now they've got to come back to her at some point. Otherwise, she is just roaming the galaxy as a Force-sensitive, like, Inquisitor-trained... Not Jedi, because she was not a Jedi, but just a, this really powerful being wandering around Tatooine. Where's literally any minor character from the Clone Wars? Oh, yeah, but... Like, I... I am okay with the amount of Clone Wars sets that we've got. Like, Lego has gone back and revisited a ton of Clone Wars characters. Like, we literally got Commander Fox and Vaughn. No matter what you think of those minifigures, some of them are... I mean, Vaughn's not great, but Lego made them. Tales of the Jedi did not get a single Lego set or minifigure. Darth Vader in the end gave me chills. Oh, it reminded me of the Fallen Order scene. You know when you've got Triller, and behind you see the silhouette of Darth Vader, and you hear the... Oh, yeah. TLB when he sees the weird comments... How did we get here? We're smarter than this. It can be cruel, poetic, or blind, but when it's denied violence, you may find love. I'm such a pro at this. You love the Riddler. We've got the actual DC Riddler. Shouldn't you be, I don't know, like, trying to blow up Gotham City? Or get on Batman's nerves or something? Never seen the second one. I found the opening of the first one really creepy. Justice? Really? Justice? I thought it was love. Love can be poetic, blind, or cruel. And when it's denied, when love is denied, you might be violent. Not that you should, but... Oh, okay, fine. I'll give up with you. What trailer y'all talking about? Says the United States Presidential Channel. The tail... The Tales of the Empire trailer. Have you not seen it? Clearly not. How have you not seen it? How are there people who haven't seen this? Three more likes till trivia. Come on, guys. Like it up. Let's do this. Like it up. If you would like to donate, I'd love it if one or two people use the link in the description to support my next video. It would really mean a lot to me. Thank you. Uh, what do you prefer? Tales of the Mandalorians, Tales of the Sith, Tales of the Bounty Hunters, or Tales of the Clones? Definitely Tales of the Sith. Absolutely. Because Tales of the Clones would is just the Clone Wars. Yes, there are other clone stories, but we've had the Clone Wars and the Bad Batch. I'm satisfied with that. Tales of the Mandalorians, you've literally got a series called The Mandalorian, all about Mandalorians, and you have the Clone Wars which, and Rebels, which all also featured Mandalorians. Tales of the Sith, we haven't seen much about that golden age of the Sith, and they're talking about perhaps we'll see something like that in the Acolyte. So I think Tales of the Sith, maybe with Palpatine and Plagueis, like, how cool would that be? And again, Tales of the Bounty Hunters, I don't know how invested I'd be in that, because you, you get, like, the odd story with Cad Bane, or... Bosk, Dengar, like you could have some interesting story, but would it really be, like would, would I be invested? I would be invested in Tales of the Sith. I'm loud and obnoxious, I like music that rhymes, I'm a quarter of the population by commit, okay, I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, TLB, what am I? I collect bricks and I make videos, I'm not in year 11, nor am I in year 10. What am I? Ha uh, TLB. Ah. Uh. Um, didn't you see General Grievous in the Tales of the Jedi? I did. Wait, Tales of the Jedi? You mean Tales of the Empire? Yeah, what was he doing there? That's why I was... I was confused about that. What was, um, General Grievous doing in that? Does that mean it's gonna go back in time? Because General Grievous is dead. My mother watched a stream with me for a bit and she was impressed by how professional you are. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, yourself, TLB, because you're... Yeah, I know that. Thank you, Sleemo. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, right, I'm going to build these boosters. Let's do it. Here we go. I am going to... Got a few more steps to go. I must go. The Batman is here. All right, by then, the Riddler. Have you seen the Gotham Skyline set? It has dark... Yeah, I thought that was really cool, actually. 
I think I saw it on display at the Lego store, and yeah, it looks good. Is that the... It's based on the Batman animated series, am I alright? Tales of the Bounty Hunters could give us a backstory, but, but then again, does it matter? Because that's the thing, like, Tales of the Empire is actually tying up loose ends. What was Morgan Elsbeth's role in the Empire? Like, we didn't know that. We knew that she had something to do with making ships. Or what happened to Barriss Fee? I mean, do we really need to know Bosk's backstory? I think it would be better if they left it mysterious. A lot of people said that about Book of Boba Fett, thinking, actually, was it that interesting? I, I like Boba Fett. I really want a season two. But I'm just saying that there were quite a few people who thought maybe it shouldn't be. Maybe they should just leave it. You want stories about Sugi. Who is Sugi? Embo or yeah, but then but, but would people really care? Like I'd watch it, sure, and it might be cool, but it would be like a spin-off episode of the Bad Batch. Like that's the type of thing that you could do. You know what I really want to know? What's the Sarge Ventress been up to? Can I talk about that? Can we talk about Ventress in, in the Bad Batch? Or or has everybody not seen it yet? It's not a spoiler because it's in the trailer. But I won't tell people what happens if they don't want to know. Because that'd be a bit mean. I'm liking the perm. To, what's the perm? I'm assuming you mean the hair. Thank you. Thank you. I would want shows on the old public system. That'd be cool. That'd be cool, Luke. Although, then again, the old public isn't canon anymore. It's the High Republic. If LEGO gave you the chance to create Star Wars set, what would it be and why? Hmm. I mean, it depends. Right. It depends what my motivation would be. Okay. So if Lego said to me, right, you, you are going to make a set that sells, you, you're going to get, I don't know, 10% of every single Lego set that this one sells. I would literally do nothing else but make a $15 clone trooper battle pack with, what, three regular phase ones, uh, phase two, sorry, and chuck in one random clone that we hadn't seen before, I don't know, from like a really obscure Legion. Maybe, maybe, you know what I'd do? Right, if, 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 I, if I wanted to make money, if I was Lego, Lego, if you're watching this, do this, right? You're going to make so much money. Okay, so if I was a Lego designer and I got money every time someone bought my Lego set, I would design a Clone Trooper Battle Pack, just a small one, with two regular Phase 2 Clone Troopers and two, oh, what are they called? Clone Commandos from the Bad Batch. It'd be a Bad Batch Battle Pack, Bad Batch Clone Troopers Battle Pack. It would literally be two Clone Commandos, or maybe one Clone Commando, and three, because you don't need, like, an army of Clone Commandos, do you? So maybe I'll give you one Clone Commando, three Phase 2s. Can you imagine how much money you would make? Because people would just go out and buy. And I'd also have a build, which Lego, at the back of the instructions, you can turn into something else. If you buy, like, ten of them, it turns into, I don't know, like a Republic gunship or an ATTE. That, that would probably be what I'd do, because imagine how successful that would be. Even if there was, like, an alternate build, because then everyone would want to build it, right? So maybe it just had a small instruction manual and then, like, a QR code that you could scan and then build this larger official Lego set, basically. Because I swear they did that in the classic Lego Star Wars era. With some stuff. Just, just, just hire me already. I mean, I wouldn't be able to do the designing. It would probably be a terrible design, but... I could, I could be a Lego ideas guy. Someone who just sits at a desk all day and comes up with ideas and writes them down and sends them off to the designing people. Come on, Lego. If you're watching this, hire me. I will make you so much money. Phase 2 clones have gone in Bad Batch. No, there are there are Phase 2 clones in the Bad Batch, right? Maybe not Bad Batch right now, but I'm pretty sure there are the Clone Commandos and um, Phase 2 clones. Even still, I would definitely just do that. Can you imagine? And you had like a little, I don't know, probably a cannon or I'm trying to think of what build people would like, like what people build would people actually use. And then if you built a certain number of them, you could turn it into maybe an ATT or a clone turbo tank. Oh, so sick. It'd be so good. I would literally like break records with a number of Lego sets sold. That'd be so, so good. How is the art of the brick exhibit? <coughs> Sorry, Flowbricks. <clears throat> Locksbricks, even. Let me have a sip of my tea. Ah. How was the art of the brick exhibit? Let's try that again. 
it was great. I really enjoyed it. So uh, for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, first of all, why is that? Go and follow me on Instagram if you have the app. I am the Lego Brit on Instagram, or the Lego Brit official is my second account. But I don't really post much. I don't post on there. I post on my main. And I went to Brick Lane in London. Funny that it's on Brick Lane, isn't it? A bit of a pun. To see uh, the Lego art exhibition, Art of the Brick. And they basically did a bunch of almost life-size and sometimes larger than life recreations of famous paintings, artworks, people, all sorts in Lego. It was brilliant. Like, check out my Instagram post. I put it on my community post as well, so that people who don't have Instagram, if you want to see what the exhibition was like. I went with my friend Blaster Brick Studio. Very nearly did a name reveal for him then. Don't worry. I'm not going to do it. Um, I went with Blaster Brick Studios, and we had a really, really nice time. It was great. Like, I chatted with him. We had pizza before. We went for ice cream afterwards. We walked around and took loads of pictures, and it, it was fun. Really good. Like, if you're into art or Lego, I would recommend it. And I'm not being paid to say that. That I enjoyed it. it. It was it was really good. Hmm, I wonder if this Brit guy likes Star Wars. Oh, I wonder. I almost never use Instagram. I just have it so I can follow you and other creators. Fair enough, Green Bricks. I mean, Instagram, Lego Instagram, is actually way more active, I think, than Lego YouTube. There's so many more people on there. And I have managed to get some people on Instagram over to YouTube, but the problem is... If you're an Instagram person, you're just going to be more interested in that short form content or content that you can consume very quickly. Also, things like, you know, Lego leaks, right? You can just like them and you can just see them on Instagram, whereas YouTube, you've got to make a three minute video about it, which takes ages. So sometimes, like the, these recent Lego leaks, I do actually want to do some YouTube shorts about them. <coughs> Sorry. I do want to do some YouTube shorts about these recent Lego leaks. I just haven't gotten around to it yet, but I will. Stuff like the um, Infiltrator and Cody Brickheads and, and that, that sort of stuff that's, that's leaked. But sometimes I'll just take the pictures and upload them to Instagram, see what people think on there. And it, it's quicker. What's a TLB stream without Mr. Kiwi or Jedi Bob? It's not a TLB stream, is it? Lego YouTube was peak like four years ago. Facts, Jedi Bob. Facts. So many people have fell off. It's really sad, actually. I, I got a message from... Elmelon Studios. I don't know if Elmelon Studios is actually watching right now. He might be, and uh, he was like, he was probably one of my original subscribers, maybe first hundred or whatever. And I hadn't seen him in ages. And he got a message on Instagram like, "Hey, how are you doing?" And I was like, "I remember you." You know, there are so few people that. Sorry, what? Well, <coughs> I must have something in my throat. There's so few people that are still on this channel who subscribe to me in like the first. 100, 200, 300, maybe even 500, like very few. There are some. Shout out to all the OGs out there, if you're watching. Uh, Mr. Kiwi, I think you were definitely an OG, although not not that. I'm trying, I'm trying to remember when you, when you started following me, actually. I don't know. I can't even remember where we met. That's really bad, Mr. Kiwi. Blocksbricks definitely started following me fairly early on, but I don't know how early. But I don't know if that we've got anyone here Red Bricks. Red Bricks is an OG. Is this... Maybe he's been watching and he turned up just to put that comment in so I'd see that he's here. Red Bricks is the definition of an OG, yeah. Welcome, Red Bricks. It's good to have you here. Please do hit that like button and support the channel. But, yeah, there's Red Bricks. That's an OG. See? They are still here. <coughs> Sorry, man. Sorry. I don't know why I said man then. Ladies as well. Literally don't know why I just started coughing then. Hey, I just wanted to tell you I love your content. You've been such an inspiration to me. And I know you probably won't see this, but I just wanted to let you know. Ah, thank you. No, I will see it. I do I do make an effort to try and read all the comments and things. So thank you so much, HR Studios. I really appreciate it. I've been here over two years. Nice. Nice, Brickstack. Nice. Thank you so much for your support. Blocksbrick says you were just under 1k, I think. Yeah, I think that's about right. How many UCS sets do I have? Let me count. So I've got the UCS A-Wing. The UCS X-Wing. The Republic Gunship, the Venator, the Millennium Falcon, the Razor Crest. I think... S am, I, am I forgetting something? I'm not counting stuff like the R2-D2 and the Moss Eisley. The Land Speeder. Seven. I think that's it. I think it's, I think it's seven. I was around before you hit 50, yeah. Yeah, Red Bricks is, is, is the OG. 
person who I did my first ever live stream with, actually. Good times. What was it called? Um, Brick Boys Podcast. That's it. Brick Boys Podcast. Those were the days. Those were the days. Let me know, guys, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. Did I mention all my UCS sets? I think I did. But tell me if I, tell me if I um, missed one. I was around Lego usually before you created a channel, TLB. I just didn't discover you right away. Fair enough. I mean, not many people would. That's the whole point of being an OG to a channel. You're one of very few people that watch it. <laughs> it was a good podcast for, well, until you gave up on it. Yeah. Me, well, Levram and you started the podcast. Then he invited me and he thought, hey, this guy's good. And he interviewed me for a position to be a host where you put on this whole interview process uh, for no real reason. But I did the interview and you accepted me. And we, I don't think we ever did it again, did we? You just, you just didn't. So, Brick Boys podcast fell off. It's sad, isn't it? But at least we didn't. At least, we, at least we're still here. And I think Lebram's still around as well. I don't know if he posts, though. Keep those likes and votes. Come on, guys. Keep it going, keep it going. Gotta eat lunch. Be right back. All right. Take care, HR Studios. TLB, what was your reaction to seeing me return? Somehow. Brick Stack returned. That was my reaction. Yeah. Right, we're about an hour and a quarter into the live stream. We've got about 45 minutes to go, so please keep hitting the like button. 60 likes, is it? 60 likes is the next goal we're going for. We'll do some more trivia, some more Star Wars trivia then. And I'm hoping that I'll finish this in a, couple, in a couple of minutes. If you would like to donate and support the channel, that is always really appreciated. But no pressure at all if you're unable to. And yeah, just stay with me, keep building. And on that note, Blockspix has got to go. <laughs> Gotta run, TLV. See you all later. Take care. Take care, Ed. And and love to Cynthia as well. Hope you're doing okay. Will he actually finish? He started with a handful of bricks. He's still not done. Okay, fine. Well, I'm, I'm, see, unlike other LEGO YouTubers, not all of them, not all of them, but quite a few of them, not all of them look at their comments. Like, I try and read as many comments like i get annoyed when people complain oh you're not seeing my comment or whatever because i actually read way 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 more comments than most people it's a fact if you've watched any other lego youtubers live stream they don't read uh, okay any other i'm sure there will be some there are some of course but if you try and attend like a giant lego youtube live stream people just won't get their comments read and that's the nice thing even if we've got 16 odd people here we just Chatting, Lego fans, building a community, making friends. That's the idea. At the end of the day, it's its not meant to be this giant, you know, TV show with thousands of people viewing. As fun as that would be, maybe one day, if we keep going. But as, as I have said before, you get from YouTube what you put into it. And I haven't been putting into it as much as I, um, as much as I wanted to. Because of, as I said, shows, A-levels. But in summer, I can actually just, you know properly go for YouTube and yeah so many chats unread well I'm reading that one plushies I'm reading that one things when you get even bigger as a channel it's gonna be really difficult for you to read the comments well I, I'll make an effort I, I do try and make an effort imagine getting mad that TLB misses your chat like once or twice exactly I, I, I try I try my best oh we at 62 likes give me one sec I'm just gonna do one more step and then I will check the like count Keep it going, guys, because if we do get 100, I will sing. I did make that promise to you, and I intend to keep it if we get 100 likes. If we don't, then I'll be more than happy because I won't have to sing live. So, up to you. Please do share it with friends and family, of course. Share it on your Instagram pages. If you've got YouTube and you've got a small Lego YouTube channel, just really appreciate it if you pressed share and then create post. Send it on your community tab so your followers can tune in and chat with you here and me of course right look i'm doing the boosters at the moment that's what it's looking like so far so let's have a look at the like count 61 likes nice nice okay <coughs> something's definitely up <clears throat> maybe it's i've been talking for so long I haven't done a live stream in like a few weeks okay 60 likes let's do it Let's read one of these questions. Here we go. I watch a few small YouTubers and they do not even think it's important to acknowledge that the chat is more important than themselves. I put my chat more community before me. Exactly. No, absolutely. That, that's right. That's the way it's supposed to be. The chat comes first. 
because if I've got no one watching, then I could sit here and build a Lego set, but I wouldn't have anyone to talk to. So, tell me his voice is rusty. Okay. Mr. Kiwi, I am recovering. Well, I I did, I did have a... Um, I, did, I was ill earlier this week, so that's probably why. Okay, here we go. Rename the stream the coughing stream. Bro, I've, I've coughed like less than... Less than 20 times. Maybe even less than 15. We do not need a TLB coughing montage before someone suggests it. He's just... just like, whatever, 30 seconds of me. <coughs> Here we go. Let's do it. The client tells Din Djarin that Grogu is how old? The client tells Din Djarin that Grogu is how old? How old is Grogu? TLB rage montage. Not, not sure about that. 50. 300? Definitely not. Definitely. That wasn't even one of the options, Britain Bricks. He's definitely not 300. He's 50. Yes, little Grogu is actually 50 years old. Because his species... What's the line? It's different species age differently. Look, I've got my Grogu here. Oh, hello. Is he going to say... Yeah, hello. Yeah, I love this guy. Look. Sorry, uh, BR1T. I'm kind of neglecting you, but look at this. I got, I got him for Christmas. Look how cute he is. Grogu. Death. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, okay. Okay. Have I played the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga? Uh, yes. Yes. I'm gonna flex. I got it sent early for free. Yeah, that's, that's one of my biggest flexes about Lego YouTube. Kiss BR1... T oh, yeah, sorry. Try not kiss him too. Oh no, Grogu, no! There we go. There. We do not need, however, we do not need to bring up that live stream when I did do that and Blocks Bricks made the worst joke ever. And um, yeah, let's let's not do that. Okay, at least Blocks Bricks isn't here to remind us. Why is this giving me Annabelle? What's Annabelle? I don't know. I remember when BR1T rolled off the desk. Yeah, good times, good times, good times. Uh, but I need to finish this right now, so I can't play with the... You know, they're like my kid. No, they're not my kids. But uh, I can't play with them. I need, to, I need to do this. What's up and good morning, Americans? It's evening here in the UK. But welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay. I've got to do... What's four times eight? 24? No. No. No, wait. Eight, 16, 32. I do not know how I passed GCSE Maths. I do not know how I passed GCSE Maths. I've got to do 32 of these pieces. So, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Did I see... Okay, Jedi Bob. You didn't have to bring up... Okay. Uh, uh, Tilby, if you have a job, what is it? Uh, I, I have a part-time job, but I haven't done it recently. I did do it over Christmas. Uh, and it was... Uh, I think I did it... When was the most recent time I did it? I did it a couple of months ago. I have a part-time job at the local theatre. So I'm able to get shifts there and I steward. So I essentially scan people's tickets in. I don't do it very much though. I actually do it more so because I enjoy it. Because it's quite fun and you get free tickets to the shows. Um, more than anything. I did it for my work experience. And then they offered me a pay position. So I'm like, yeah, why not? Okay. Interesting math skills. Hey, come on. Just because you're doing A-level maths, Mr. Kiwi. Are you doing A-level maths? You're doing further maths. You might be doing further maths. I'm trying to remember. What's my all-time favourite Lego set? Now, probably... Now, this, this answer might upset some people. I own the UCS Millennium Falcon, which is an incredible set. But it's not my all-time favourite. My all-time favourite is the UCS Razor Crest from The Mandalorian. I don't really know why, but I love it. It is so good. Marvel Bricks with a good question. A GCSEs as nerve-wracking as most people say. Listen, I never took my GCSEs probably as seriously as people should say you should. But I've got a naturally really good memory and I did really well with very little revision. A-levels, it's a bit of a shock that I am actually going to have to revise. Or I have been revising. But GCSEs, you just, I guess, little and often for GCSEs and focus on the subjects you're weakest at. But there are some subjects I did barely any revision for like English and RS I just smashed through those 
But equally, maths GCSE, really, really tough for me. As, as you just saw from my math skills, never been a gifted mathematician. I had to work really hard to get what I did get, which was a six. And I was really proud of that. Some people who could just naturally get, you know, eights and nines. I would not have gotten back into my school if I hadn't revised for that. For my school, you have to get five, um, which is, is a C in English and maths to get back in. I would have gotten that in English easily. But maths, I had to work really hard. I stayed behind after school on some days up until even like nearly six to properly work on my maths. And hey, I'm, I, was a, I got a six, so I can say I have a qualification in maths. Whether that means I'm actually good at maths or not, certainly not. But I was good at maths when I sat my GCSE maths. And that's what matters. Which is one of the reasons I actually disagree with the education system, because it tests what you will like on one day and not your life skills. But I, I won't start a political thing now. You know what I'm like when I start talking about politics. You stayed up to 6... No, 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 6 p.m. I stayed at school until 6, 6 p.m. With a teacher who really helped me, actually. Fair enough. Science used to see... Oh, no, I'm going to fail. No, no, no. Don't go into it with that mindset. I also thought I was going to fail science. I got a three, in, I think, in one of my mocks, which would have been a fail. Dreadful. But I worked pretty hard in the last thing. I went sort of political thing. How long do we give that? Yeah, this government, this bunch of clowns and charlatans and waste of... Spe I mean, I'm not going to be political at all, am I? I'm, I'm, I'm totally unpolitical. Right, here we go. Uh, one more. Hey, I think I'm done. I think I am done. See, that'd be a great point. I'll forget everything I learned at school over the summer. Exactly, exactly. Like, what is the point? It tests what you know on one day, and then I will have forgotten that tomorrow. Here we go. I'm going to attach these uh, engines, and then I'm actually done, which is crazy. See? Some people said I couldn't do it. I proved them wrong. Let's attach this. Here we go. One. Pretty chunky engines, by the way, like, but not as, I don't know if, maybe they look slightly small compared to the rest of it, but I'm assuming, I'd like to think it's accurate to the source material. I think that's my mum, actually. Oh, no, it's not. It's a delivery. I don't know why we've got Tesco delivery. Oh. At long last, he's done. Not yet, not yet. Almost there. Give me one second. I've got to put two more of these in. Here we go. Slot it in the hole like so. Don't take that out of context. There. One more. Okay. Here we go. And there. Oh, no. Come on. It's just. There we go. There we go. Boom. And the UCS. I'm, I'm quite proud of myself. Oh, you can't see it. That's. Hang on. Let me move my tray out of the way. And then what I'll do is I'll get you guys to vote on what I should build next time. And. Uh, Dun, 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 dun. The UCS X-Wing. Oh, can you still, still see my face? Well, that was wobbly. Whew. The UCS X-Wing. What on earth just happened? Right, give me one. What is this? Oh, no. No. I'm sorry, but this is not even funny. This is not even funny. Right, where does this go? I did actually, I was, I was like, no, this, this, this build stream's actually gone too smoothly. It, it, it's too, what on earth? Just for, it's, that's what I mean about it being flimsy. I moved it from one side. Don't worry, it's not fully broken. I mean, the, the X-Wing itself is fine. It's this stand, it's this stupid stand. Right, give me a sec. I gotta put the wings. Oh, come on. See? Oh, it's really flimsy, actually. Oh, gosh. Please stay together. There. Right, the X-Wing's going on the going on the table. Yeah, that was that was that was bad. Right, see what is see the stand? Because basically they wanted to recreate the 1999, I think, stand for the X-Wing. What they did is they sacrificed what could have been a really good stand for a stand made of bricks rather than technic. And what that means is that it's just not stable enough. It simply isn't stable enough. So you've got parts that just will not stay together. Or at least if you move it in a certain way, it won't hold. Which is very irritating. So, yeah. Ugh. Stick around, guys. Do stay with me. Where is this? 
Hang on. I'm going to get it right. I think I've... Aha! I dropped one piece there. See? Why have we got a Tesco delivery in the Sunday evening? What is going on? I also think I dropped a piece on the floor. See, this is where the live stream goes. This is where it goes down. I was like, no, this has gone too well. This is... This is this has done, gone too well. It, it, it can't be... This can't be happening. But no. Something always goes wrong. And here we are. Press F to pay respects. Yeah. Yeah. Just falls over and breaks. Yeah. Genuinely. Genuinely. I actually thought, no, I've done it. I've actually done it. I haven't done it. Because of this stupid stand design, which I really don't like. I'm sorry, guys, but this stand... If you're building... Any of you guys got the UCS X-Wing? Can you give me your thoughts? Because I've rebuilt this stand multiple times. I think it's just... Just a poor design. Okay. Ah! Got it. <coughs> Sorry, there's definitely going to be a coughing montage in this live stream. Don't you dare. See? Maybe stress cough. Because this stupid build. I have it. Might buy it. Don't have it. Yeah, like... I wanted the X-Wing because it's an X-Wing and it looks great. And if you're not touching it, it's fine. But why did they have to go? This is just a flimsy stand. Like, if you asked me, I think if you asked most people, what would you prefer? A stand that stays steady or a stand that looks like the one from 1999? Most people, I would like to think, would just be like, yeah, I want a steady stand. But no. No, it's, it, they wanted one that apparently looks like 1999. It just, ugh. It, it annoys me. <laughs> Okay, give me a sec. I've got to attach these little Technic bits in. But the level of Technic they use is also really basic, which meant that it was easy to build for someone like me. Maybe I make a TRB coffee montage. You can. You can. I, I actually kind of want to see one now. Here we go. So, I'm almost done now. I hope. There. That's, that, that's the stand. I'll give you a closer look. That's what the X-Wing Starfighter looks like. All the information there. I'll tell you what. I'll add... Why is it falling apart now? Come on. You made it this far. Can you not fall apart after the live stream? No, actually, if I say that, it, it might actually fall apart after the live stream. That'd be a disaster. Come on, you made it this far. You've got more life left in you, bro. Come on. Come on, bro. No. No. Ah. Yeah, you might need to be swearing montage in a second as well. Come on. What is going on? I don't know if you can hear my dogs barking as well. I don't know why we have a Tesco delivery at whatever time this is on Sunday. Like, who, whose idea was that? Okay, here we go. Oh, I, I gotta attach these things. Ah, my word. It's making me attach them again. This is what I mean. It's just such a flimsy design. I'm sorry, but I. It might be the least favourite UCS set I've built because of this reason. Like, even, even builds like the. Venator, which were tough at times, at least it came together at the end. I just feel like this is going to fall apart at the end, as it just did. It, it just feels that unstable, which is a real shame, because aesthetically, it looks really good. I know you probably can't see very much. I just, I just want to get this right. I need to kind of attach it properly, and then I will... Oh, give me a second. Come on, just go in. And then you can go away. Ah. What is it? I think it needs to go higher. Maybe. Sorry, guys. Give me one sec. <gasps> what was that? What is going on? Right. Got to stay calm. Got to stay calm and collected. Okay, right. That's right. Fine. This, however, this, yeah, you're laughing at me, Britain Bricks. This, however, oh, right, what on earth is going on? This is what I mean. This is, this is evidence, right, that the UCS X-Wing is probably the flimsiest set I've ever built. There we go. There's another bit. Look, just there. Fun. Look at that. There. Gone. See, just, just, again, I mean, this look, this bit's going to come off as well. Look, woo, you want to join them? You can join them as well. This bit's going to come off. You're coming off, okay? Sorry, you can't even see this, can you? I look like a madman. Gro yeah, Grogu's doing it. Grogu's just, it's because, yeah, he's just sat there. I should be able to put it back together, but, man. That segment hasn't stopped annoying me. 
Which bit? Oh, you built the UCS action, didn't you, Green Goose? You did. What do you think? Like, it looks good, doesn't it? It looks good. Who would have thought, like, the hell that is trying to put it in one piece? When you have it displayed nicely, don't touch it. Exactly. But it shouldn't be like that. This is... This was made in 2023. Why would they make a flimsy Lego Star Wars set when they could have made it so much better? That's the thing. I just... I wish I could just talk to the designer and be like, bro, what do you do? What are you doing? Okay. Might be going the whole two hours building uh, before I give you my review, but essentially I just need to... Okay, there we go. That's one bit put together. What am I doing? Oh, I'm attaching this bit. One piece. I love it, but I can't pick it up with... Exactly, exactly. Anybody else got the UCS X-Wing? Come on. Any takers? One piece. Calm, TLB, breathe. I'm trying. Get those likes in, folks. Yeah. And if I want to display it wings closed, I have to put it... Exactly. It's very frustrating. It looks good, doesn't it? But, man, it it's flimsy. And that's a shame. You know the Venator? You can pick it up and swoosh the Venator around. The Millennium Falcon you can pick up and swoosh around. This thing... I, I couldn't even move it across the table. I'm hoping to... Sorry about to say this, but bring out the... No, I'm not bringing the glue. But, you know, I'm actually going to have to... I might have to transport this to my grandparents' house. So I have to very, very carefully sort of carry it downstairs, put it in the boot of the car, and just, like... Maybe, maybe not even on the stand. Maybe put the stand to one side, then put it to one side and carry it in separately to the stand because this is this is gonna be fun, isn't it? This is where the fun begins. They don't make it non-force compatible. <laughs> Type to pay respects to TLB. Yeah, come on, like it up, guys. I will do some more trivia if we reach seventy likes, and if we get hundred, I doubt it, but if we do, I'll end up doing karaoke. And of course, please do consider donating to support the channel and. Uh, Support me after what's been a fairly irritating last few minutes of the live stream. Right, come on, let's put this let's put this together. Almost there. You know, I I just I just wonder because we've got Lego sets that are really, really wonderfully made. And this one, as cool as it look I feel like they kind of went for I understand why it's difficult because of all this the angling. But I Hmm. I wonder what the 2013 UCS X-Wing's like, actually. How that compares. Right, I'm now going to try and pick it up. Watch. Watch this space. And place it on the stand. Sounds like a pretty simple task, eh? Okay, let's do it. Didn't LEGO release an official fix for the stand a while ago? Was that... Did they? LEGO UCS X-Wing stand. X-Wing stand. I found that they... Mm, Falling apart display stand. Yeah, but I don't think that's... I, I think you mean the ATA. Oh, Lego just fixed the... Here we go. 2023, when I reviewed the Lego Star Wars UCS X-Wing, I found a major flaw with the set where these two slow pieces break off the X-Wing. Well, I'm happy to report that Lego did get back to me and we do indeed have an official fix now, which requires these four pieces that you can order. This is so exciting. Right. Right, guys. Solid Brick Studios is gonna about to about to thank me, okay? I am going to grab some pieces from my spare piece. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pop the timer on. I'm gonna grab these pieces, because I think I have got these. These are fairly easy to find. Um, in fact, do I have I might even have them here in my spare piece. Uh oh, I don't have that. I have so two of them I've got already. Fine. See, that's good actually. I mean, why on earth would they not? Think about this. I mean, if a LAN reviewer, someone who's literally paid to say nice things about Lego, finds this set. Okay, fine. I'm going to pop the timer on, okay? Thank you to... Who, whoever said that is, like, going to be... I think it was Jedi Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jedi Bob. I'm going to pop the timer on. You stay right there, guys, okay? Like it up, subscribe, consider donating, all that stuff. I'm going to pop the two-minute timer on, grab those pieces, and I'll be right back. Here we go. I hope they can't hear me. Damn it, my leg! Oh, my leg! Oh, what on earth?
Okay, so I just checked the chat. Look, look, it says Mike is muted. It says Mike is muted. I thought I muted myself. So basically, I, I coughed, right? And then what I did, this is so, I'm, I'm actually fuming, right? Basically, I went under the tape. You heard, oh, no, you're kidding me. You're actually kidding me. It was going so well. It's actually going so well. Basically, you saw, I, you, you think I did that on purpose? No, I, look, I went to get the thing and then my leg kind of, you know when you're like jaw locked, it was kind of like my leg locked as I went to get the thing. Cause maybe I've been sitting for so long. I kind of went on the floor and I couldn't move it. And I, <laughs> um, I'm going to, I'm going to re-listen to that. I might have to edit that out of the live stream. This is embarrassing, isn't it? This is like, yeah, this is, this is really embarrassing. Yeah, I, I basically just, my leg, yeah, I, I literally shattered in my leg and I thought, please do not hear that. Because I literally muted myself as well. It said Mike is muted, right? I, I, why? Just, just why? I tried to reach with, yeah. I, I, I'm not even going to try and explain it. It's very difficult to explain. You could just, on the bright side, I have, I'm sorry, but that's so embarrassing. Oh, well. Moving on. On the right, yeah, you could also hear me having a coughing fit as well. Because I needed to cough and I thought I'd mute myself and I'll cough. Oh, I'm sorry, but I, I need to, someone please clip it and send it to me because I need to hear that. I will laugh at myself later, but I also look so stupid, which is really annoying. So let me, on the right side, I actually have my spare parts thing. Yeah. You think, I, I, I promise, I literally swear I did not do that on purpose. Right? I muted myself. It even said Mike is muted at the top. And it said on my screen, you're muted. So I don't know why you could hear me. And then you can hear me having a coughing fit. And then I reached for the thing. And my leg locked. And I was like, <laughs> well, you heard what I said. At least I didn't say anything worse. That would be terrible. Uh, anyway. <sighs> this is fun, isn't it? I was like, this, is, this has gone too well. You know, as I was putting that together, I actually thought, you know, that might be the best live stream I've ever done. Like the least... It always has to be something, isn't there? There's always something. And this time it's like a leg injury. Which I hope it's not an injury, whatever this pain is. Okay, fine. No, most average TLB stream. Oh, shut up, Jedi Bob. Okay, right, let's do this. I've, I've got like a million spare parts here, so I might tip them out on the tray and then try and fix this stand, which is what this video is telling me how to do. I'm actually so angry with myself. Okay. Well, only OG supporters will know next time someone put it in chat, just put, just put <laughs> next time just put damn it my leg in the chat and just see who, who gets it and who doesn't. I apologise if, I, I don't think that language would have offended anybody, but yeah. Right, let me. Okay. So I'm hoping that in somewhere... Somewhere in this massive pile of... Ooh, I've got a gun. A, a Lego gun. Don't take me down. I'm a clip that... Okay. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm on my own. I don't talk. What? What do you mean? Okay. Right. This is, this is actually... Like, top ten most embarrassing things that happened on live stream. I'm... What on earth? I literally muted myself. I don't... I'm never going to trust technology again. Maybe I'm muted just, just for that and and muted myself. You could hear me coughing and then, I swear I said something as well, didn't I? I, I said, I think I said, I hope they can't hear me to myself. I'm, I'm actually so stupid. What is wrong with me? Anyway, uh, I'm attempting to find some pieces that I can fix Lego's UCS X-Wing stand. I'm blaming it on, I'm blaming this on Lego. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna blame it on them. Because why is it such a flimsy design? Hey, hey, look, I think I found one. Yes, I have one. I have one of these cylinders. I just need, so I've got three there. I need one more, one more now. And then I will do whatever this fixes that uh, Solibrick Studios, aka David does in his video. That's hopefully gonna make my life really easy. Yeah, you coughed and said, I hope they didn't hear that. I, I'm sorry, but I muted myself. So, so now if I'm muted, you just can hear me. They just didn't say anything else. I mean, I can think of a million worse things that I might have said, but, well, ooh, is that one? Yes, okay, got it, I've got it. 
Okay, here we go. I'm not sure we will be voting on the next build today, but right, I'm gonna. From Lego customer service by just submitting a request that you have this set. Okay, yeah, we know that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Customer service should provide instructions, but I'm gonna show you how to do it here. Simply just take some Technic pins, pop them in these little pieces, and all you have to do is attach them right above those slopes, and voila. That. See, that's how simple it is for them to fix this set. Well, at least they came out and did it. It's just be great if they did it straight away. Okay, so this is the official Lego fix. Thank you so much, Jedi Bob. For your X-wing stand, so those slopes no longer come off your model. Yes. Also happy to report that this change doesn't affect anything else about the model, meaning that if you want to change the orientation of the X-wing on the stand, that still works perfectly fine. No okay. Okay. I fixed the stand. I fixed. Should I upload the? Cl okay. We should have all acted like we didn't hear anything for five minutes. I'm sorry, but it was too good. I was probably too. Right now. Now that I've fixed this stand with Lego's actual fix, so they realised that the set was poorly designed, or that the stand was poorly designed, now I've got to fix the X-Wing on top of the stand. What could go wrong? I'm going to put these spare pieces back in this little wooden thing. It's my little wooden box. Check Insta. Okay, okay, Mr. Kiwi. I'm going to check. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to react to it live, okay? If, you, if you've sent it. Have you sent it? I'm checking Insta, Mr. Kiwi. You sure you sent it? I'm, I'm checking. I'm checking. Look, I'm refreshing right now. I can see nothing. Has it not sent? No, Mr. Kiwi, no. I, w I could just rewind the live stream, but if you're, if you're actually doing the cropping, then that would just be easier. It's sending. Okay, okay. You can send it to me. What on earth? That was... Okay. This is... Yeah. So, I'm putting all these spare parts back in... Okay, okay. Mr. Kiwi says it's sending. Slowly. Okay. Apparently it's sending. I feel like I missed something very funny and I have no idea what's going on. I Don't worry, I'll react to what just happened in a second. What on earth is going on? What on earth is going on in the House of Commons? I used to see you in every Lego video comment section. Yeah, it, well, when I had more time on my hands, I'd spend time watching other people's videos. Right now, I barely have enough time to make my own. Um, that's life. Right, Mr. Kiwi, I'm literally in our Instagram chat right now, waiting. I'm, I'm waiting. Oh, come on. You said at the beginning to talk on the video on Insta. I don't have Insta. Oh, what do you mean? Right, come on. Right, Mr. Kiwi, you're failing me. You're failing me in my moment of need. Yo, you're seeing the hearts I'm giving. I'm seeing hearts pop up. So I'm. thank you, JB. I am seeing hearts. Thank you. I know you love me. I appreciate it. Anyone here? Anyone here? Right, no, I don't think Mr. Kiwi's sending it. If, if he is, then he needs to tell me when it's actually been sent so that I'm not waiting. Okay, let me pop all of these back in. So I'm slowly putting all these back, then I'll put the X-Wing back, then I'll give you the X-Wing review, and then I'll go away. Sound like a fun plan? Let's do it. Let's do this. Also, what on earth was that? <laughs> Mr. Kiwi, I need you to comment if you're listening. Comment in the chat when it's there, because I haven't got notifications on my phone during live streams. So, yeah, I can't see any messages that people send during streams that are outside of the live chat. It's sent. Okay, here we go. Mr. Kiwi 17. Here we go. Right, let's let's, let's watch this then. Um... You stay right there, guys, okay? Like it up, subscribe, consider donating, all that stuff. I'm going to pop the two minute timer on, grab those pieces, and I'll be right back. Here we go. Here we go. I'd muted myself. It gets worse. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> it's just the long silence. <laughs> what on earth is going on? Hang on, can we just can we just appreciate that for the comedic timing? 
At least I can laugh at myself. Hang on, at least I can laugh. That was famous last word, wasn't it? <laughs> with with the national anthem going on in the background as well. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Kiwi, for enlightening me as to what you could hear. You could hear the really peaceful music and then just damn it, my leg. <laughs> oh well, look. At least it shows that I don't have a studio. I don't have all these professional things. I'm literally just someone who. You can upload it to your channel as long as you credit me, yeah. Uh, as literally someone who streams in my bedroom, right? That's literally it, okay? I literally, someone who likes Lego, who streams in their bedroom with my laptop and a uh, microphone from Amazon. It's literally that. And the microphone from Amazon told me that I was muted. I have to write them a, write them a poor review. The stream is going so, it was going too well, wasn't it? It, it was eerily good. I was actually like, you know what? This is this might be the best the best live stream I've ever done. And then, uh, yeah, and then the set broke because I was bringing it together, and it went downhill from there. Oh well. Hey, block bricks for block bricks. He left earlier. This was this. He'll message me like that was the best live stream ever. Yeah. To be fair though, it adds a bit of authenticity, doesn't it? It shows that I am a normal human being who also gets pain when their leg randomly stops moving. Okay, yeah. At least it wasn't, it could have been worse. Trust me, it could have been worse. So, if, if that's the worst thing that happens today, I will be only slightly annoyed. But at least it brought you some entertainment. Please do like it up, because if, if the Lego build doesn't deserve a like, my embarrassment does. So please, like. If we could get one more donation by the end of the live stream, that would be amazing. It could always be worse. It could. It could. Um, yeah. Think about it like that. Two more likes. Yeah, and then we'll do some trivia. I'm almost done putting all these pieces back in the box. And then we're wrapping up in just ten minutes. Ten minutes, and then we're done. Okay. Just subbed and liked the stream. Hey, thank you, Kit Plays Fortnite. I appreciate you. Welcome to the TLB family. Right, I'm almost done. Look, it's just precariously oh you can't even see it there's a lot of pieces let's just say a lot of pieces in this box look yeah just gonna stack them high now that you've finished the UCS X-Wing you should build a mock I haven't finished the UCS X-Wing because I haven't put it on the stand yet Mr. Kiwi so now that I've fixed the stand which I'm blaming this all on the poorly designed stand because if the stand was designed fine hear me out I wouldn't have needed to the, the set wouldn't have fell apart because the stand would have held it together and then I wouldn't have needed to go there so I wouldn't need to put the countdown on I wouldn't have needed to mute myself and then I wouldn't have had that happen but it was quite funny I I'm seeing the funny side of it now so at the time I literally I, I read the comments as I got back up here and I looked over there and I was like you've got to be kidding me like, I also just started coughing. I apologise, because that was, like, just coughing, coughing. I'm just TLB. I'm just TLB. When my mic's off, I hurt my leg. Pretty good, Marble Bricks. Uploading right now. I use the app. Yeah, it's fine. You, you can you can upload it. Any publicity is good publicity. I mean, as long as I'm not hateful, but it's just funny. Right, almost done. It was hilarious, I can't lie. Yeah, I bet you were having the time of your life, Mr. Kiwi. Laughing at my misfortune. Come on. In you go. Did CLB say time in the clip? I did, yes. Could have been much worse, Brickstack. Trust me. Trust me. Right, here we go. Okay. Aha! I have now... Close the box of my spare pieces. And now, if I put the tray down, without knocking pieces out of the way. So my mute button now doesn't work. So when I'm live, I'm just constantly mute, uh, constantly unmute. So you can hear everything. That's great. Oh, well. 
Here we go. Now I've got to put the UCS X-Wing on the stand, which has now been fixed. Okay, so I follow the official Lego tutorial. Here we go. I'm trying not to press too hard. Oh, a bit's fallen off already. Right, I've just got to put it on the stand first and then I'll fix it. Okay. That went, that went. That's okay. Just this little bit came off. But that's could have been way worse. Could have been way worse. Okay, and now I can rotate the S foils into attack position. Um, well, Luke Skywalker fell off like he did in The Last Jedi. Freaks, I asked you questions. I want your opinion on my video. You said sent through Insta. I don't have it on so my channel though. Oh, uh, I'll look. I'll look at. Can you email me, Bricks? Because I can't react to. I'm not going to react to videos right now. So if I react to yours, I'll have to react to everybody's. Oh, it's just closed. Okay. As I say, it doesn't have that sort of snap, does it? That that the play scale X-wings have. Here we go. Right then. Stay open. No. I want you to open. There we go. This. Let's, where, where should we turn it like that? Okay. Second try. Look, he's staying. The stand isn't breaking this time. This is the Lego Star Wars UCS X-Wing. 70 likes. Woo. Well, how long do we give it before it breaks again? Well, I'm not going to touch it, okay? No touching. I might have to reach over. It does look awesome, doesn't it? And that's the thing. Like, it looks really, really cool. I'll... I'll kind of rotate it round. Like, my main review is it looks... Oh, it's closing. Why is it closing? My main review is it looks cool. Look, you can close it by opening it and close it. But again, it's kind of saggy when you close it. Whereas, when it's like that, it's definitely open. So the best way to display it is 100% open. I wouldn't display it closed. But you can close it like that. But again, closed doesn't go... It should really go like that if it's closed. But it doesn't. It kind of just sags. So I get what Green Goose means about having to use elastic band sort of to keep it like that because otherwise it sags definitely not the best UCS set that Lego's made I, I will give it that I think it's iconic and it is really cool looking like if you walked into a room and saw this it would yeah it's definitely a collector's item for sure and it's got some really nice colouring interesting that they went for white for sort of the nose of the X-Wing when it should really be grey yeah never never touch it again and let it collect dust yeah Hyacinth Smith, welcome. Agree, it looks epic. Yeah, it does. It does. And then I'll give you a look at the back as well. Now that I'm... Look, very carefully. There. You can see the engines. A little look at the back. That's your 360 look at the X-Wing. There we go. Boom! You're right, Toby. It could have been worse. I was playing a game of War Thunder when I died. I forgot to turn on my mic while recording. And I may have shouted a certain word quite loudly. <laughs> Well, as did I, but my certain word wasn't bad. I mean, it wasn't... No. Uh, okay, send the email. Okay, Brickstack, I'll look when I have time, okay? Also, all right, I'll defo shop the stream next time. Yeah, yeah. That's epic. It is. And that's my that's my main sort of thoughts. Like, for a collector's item, it's really cool. And I can understand why, if you're a fan of the original trilogy, you would want to own this Lego set. Particularly for the Luke Skywalker minifigure as well, which is, I think, the best Luke Skywalker Lego's ever made. But it is flimsy. And... Without that fix to the stand, which Leo should have 100% included in the real thing. Like, they have so many quality checks. I do not know how something that big, that the stand didn't work, slipped through. I don't, I don't know. But clearly, after they sent it out to people to build and review, they received this feedback and, well, they decided to action it. Which is good. They actually made a real fix. So, I guess that that's good that they amended their mistakes. They should just have changed, they should just change the instructions though. Because there's going to be a lot of people who wouldn't know, who wouldn't have a chat of people watching to tell you, and I would literally just be, I don't know, I, didn't, I wouldn't know what to do. Apparently Luke comes with a set as being made into a keychain. Yeah, 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 it is. Although I think it's ever so slightly different. I don't know why, but yes, it is a keychain minifigure. I'm a fan of the original trilogy, so I prefer the gunship. Nice one, nice one. You're at 15k subs, congrats. Yeah, that's, that's quite old news. Yeah, that's old news. Um, but I think we've got three minutes to go, so we'll do one. We'll do one more trivia, okay? We got three minutes. Last opportunities to like, subscribe, donate if you would like, and let's do it. So here we go. I'm gonna read 
one question and you guys can pop the answer in the chat. Here we go. Hmm. This, uh, complete the quote from Yoda. Do I do it in the accent? No, I'm not. When years old you reach, look as good you will not. Oh, I have to do it in the accent now. Mm. When years old you reach, look as good you will not. Mm. That was that was okay. It wasn't that bad. Uh, when something years old you reach, look as good you will not. Hmm. Uh, this is from Return of the Jedi. And the answer is... Correct, Mr. Kiwi. 900. When 900 years old you reach, look as good you will not. Mm. Why do I say that so aggressively? It's like Yoda in the Seagulls video. If you haven't seen that Seagulls video, just look up Yoda, Seagulls, stop it now. Literally, you will have the best three minutes of your life. Well, maybe not of your life, but of today watching that video if you haven't seen see i mean literally everybody i know has seen that video it's so so good i love it but you kind of have to be a star wars fan to appreciate it fully but even if you're not it's, it's so good anyway uh and on that note i think it's time to finish up this ladies and gentlemen is the ucs x-wing i would give this set i think overall a six out of ten and i'll explain my ranking quickly before we finish up it is a really cool looking ship and to put it on display and leave it fantastic but the building process was frustrating at times because of how flimsy some of this i mean i don't even want to touch it how flimsy some of this in inner part was how it only came together when you added this front section so as you saw i got pretty frustrated a couple of streams ago because i literally couldn't work there's some pretty ugly gaps going along the side like look look there can you see that that's, that's an ugly gap that's kind of hard to ignore isn't it it kind of stands out if the underside perhaps had been white, it might have looked a little bit better. Again, some of these little bits here have little gaps that you wouldn't be able to see on screen, but there are just a few ugly gaps in this set. Now, from the positive oh, pro positive side, minifigures, fantastic. R2-D2 and Luke Skywalker are probably the best additions of the characters we've seen. And this is definitely the best UCSX wing they've ever made. It's just, it's just not perfect. It, it's, oh, why is that not popped down? I don't even want to, I don't even want to uh, fiddle with it. Why is that not? Oh, I see. Give me a sec. Got to take that there. Where does it go? Okay. Like, it's great, but I just feel like it could have used, you know, a few more months work. Because the Lego designers have done some incredible stuff. And this, this is good, but it's not perfect. And that's the thing, you know, I, I'm doing a quick review. Sorry, you got an ad. Unlucky. You got an ad. No, I'm still here. I'm still here. So that's my overall review. Like, 6 out of 10. Overall, it's a positive review. You skipped ad and the live has ended. What? But I'm still here. I'm still here. Okay. Alright then. What's the new next build for the live? I will... Perhaps do I do a community tab? Maybe maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do a community tab vote rather than a vote with the fifteen odd people here on the live stream. I'll get way more people participating and build up some hype. So maybe I'll do a community tab vote at some point during the week. But thank you very much, everybody. It has been a very funny live stream, certainly. And I did finish the X Wing. Much many people thought that I wouldn't, but here we are. I did finish the UCS X Wing in the live stream. Thank goodness that Lego decided to fix the stand themselves. And um, shout out to Solid Brick Studios for showing that fix. Because, well, actually, bigger shout out to Jedi Bob Studios for telling me that that exists. Because otherwise I would have probably, like, been tearing my hair out. Very funny for you. Yeah. Uh, my leg is okay. Just for everyone. My leg is perfectly fine. It just wasn't at that moment. Very misfortunate. Anyway... Thank you very much. Lol, I did, did do a good job of slowing your build. Up. Yeah, you did, Britain Bricks, you did. But hey, two hour mark. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a fantastic week, and I will see you all in the next live stream. Goodbye.